Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for May 2022, all right? I also upload a weekly picker card reading every single Sunday, Virgo, so check that out, as well as your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, so you get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, Virgo, okay, darling? So let's just jump right into your tarot reading here today, Virgo, and see what's good, what's popping with you, honey, all right? <clears throat> I already have the three cards that uh, came flying out for you, Virgo. All right. So in regards to the opportunities and doors opening up for you, uh, Virgo, very fitting when I see this page of cups energy. Page of cups energy represents new people and new opportunities stepping forward to you. All right. And the deepening of current situations in your life, current opportunities and current people in your life. All right. And so I see for a lot of you guys, I feel like it's going to be a 50 50 Virgo. Some of you guys it's going to be this is going to be coming in in a sense of where new people are starting to enter your life here that kind of of like uh, represents a new uh, wave of life for you Virgo and other people it's just like new doors opening up for you of where things start coming a little bit easier I suspect though because the Hierophant energy is become is coming in in regards to your social situations here uh Virgo that for a lot of you guys you're going to be getting in this sense of where I mean some of you guys honey are going to be getting some type of love offer okay some of y'all are going to be getting a love offer on an offer of commitment this would be straight up like an offer of someone coming in for a proposal honey all right because the Hierophant represents marriage that traditional energy here so it's just like it's very straightforward in that way all right make sure to be social at this time Virgo say what it is that you feel in your heart don't be afraid of confessing your love virgo i feel like it would be received very well i feel like people a lot of people right now see you virgo in a very tender way when they when you cross their mind it's like their heart melts a little bit and it's just like the sense of where i get like the sense of devotion like this nightly energy where it's just like they want to just like protect you and love you at all costs right and again let me be very clear just when i say, just because i say night does not mean that's immediately a male figure all right because you definitely could easily have some type of feminine energy as well or something that doesn't identify with either all right in regards to things just a heads up things to be looking out for uh, Virgo is the king of swords making sure your thoughts don't get to the best of you all right making sure that all the decisions everything that you say and do this week are coming in from a clear set uh clear headspace here all right I get this impression uh Virgo some some people are like waiting for to get a reaction out of you Virgo because I feel as if like how you being silent Virgo greatly intimidates people it greatly intimidates people you're very hard to read Virgo and so I just get this sensation this impression here where it's just like someone's trying Trying to just like you know poke the bear trigger you virgos just to get some type of like i don't know it's like i don't know what their purpose is but um yeah not allowing past situations trigger you in the way that they used to strength energy the card of shadow work so i'm not going to sugarcoat this for you um virgo this is going to be a week of very high highs extreme highs but also some moments where you are going to feel very emotional and very challenged trying to understand the purpose and everything okay and so just be prepared for that all right you're not bipolar you're just going through the intense wave of emotions and plus energetically during this eclipse season honey it's bound to be happening for you all right Virgo and so what I get for you guys just overall this week here all right don't let people get a reaction out of you first and foremost uh, um, but also trust in the people that do open up to you Virgo trust the intentions behind certain people and you'll know right King of Swords they have the clearest state of mind of knowing how to handle a situation uh, the King of Swords is an individual that is just like you know they can tell friend from foe they won't say it but they can they can sense it and they will act accordingly without needing to vocalize it all right so let's get a clear idea of what's going on for you virgo in regards to the doors and opportunities opening up Summon of Swords. Yeah, y'all have definitely been going through a hardship, Virgo. Feels like I'm being shown like a, uh, a hill, and then I wanted to say battle, uphill battle, uh, Virgo, for you guys. Maybe you've been trying to just like pay your bills, but it just feels like a losing battle for a while now because due to that Summon of Swords energy, I get this sense of where it's like you're having to juggle things and being like paying off one credit card with another, another credit card, or just like finding anything possible, anything possible to, um, uh, lessen the burden but it just feels like you're being like every challenge coming at you is like all being thrown all at once your relationships your you know so much is being un uh, unveiled so much is coming out from you right now 
Virgo, where you're just in this place of being like, man, I need a break here, right? It's like a lot of you guys are going through a big awakening process here, Virgo. Some of you guys are really going through an awakening process just of the world in general. Maybe it's due to just the climate of society right now that has you in this place here but it's like your priorities have shifted here virgo how you see things where you see yourself in the long term are shifting here um i get this sense of how where it is like you had like a life pictured for yourself and how you wanted certain things to be and i feel as if it's going to be changing during this week here it's going to be changing the the um the end story is still the same right where you emerge victorious here right with that sun energy always following you here right it's very present in all of your cards the sun representing the most positive card in the deck honey but it's a lot of changes a lot of transitions currently and i feel like for you guys right now it's just a lot for you to take in i feel like if things were just happening one after like one thing that you address and then the other virgo you would handle this with ease but it's because it's like so many things from all different sides trying you at once you're just in this place of being like oh my goodness honey like what's going on all right you're trying to gain some clarity on it so let's take a look at your relationships all right your social life platonic romantic work related family honey okay we have the strength energy coming out once again virgo okay honey <laughs> this is where it's the most trying for you guys all right your relationships are the tr triggering you the most all right it feels as if people that you've been invested into for a long time that's where the change is coming in that's where the challenges are coming in i feel like that's why it's the hardest thing for you to be managing currently is because it's not like dealing with like acquaintances or just like random people at work this is like no these are like people that are part of your inner circle these this is like family members these are like close friends this is like a relationship people you gave your heart to yeah four of wands energy here <clears throat> as well as this empress energy yeah virgo yeah that's where the trials and tribulations come in but i do feel as if um it's going to be working out in your favor regardless of like what type of relationship this is going to be going down in all right there's definitely a lot of lessons here um for you guys to be taking in in regards to your social life virgo all right so find the purpose and the pain and the struggles that you're going through all right the empress energy is the card of fertility i just feel really called to doing this and like 90.99.9 percent .9 of the time virgo i never talk about it but i do for some reason get this sense that y'all virgo right now um some of you guys are exuding very strong fertility energy honey okay <laughs> but that's the impression i get all right um so we'll just leave it at that all right so if you're not trying to get pregnant honey or if you are you know go do and whatever accordingly okay um but again i do get the sense it's going to be working in your favor here all right but you just have to make it through this week virgo of these trials and tribulations before you see the other side of it where you will where you will feel a lot better okay um i also want to just get a couple of cards in regards to this dynamic between you and this person okay so we have the high priestess here as well as the yeah this is definitely soul connections here uh virgo this is like someone that you would identify as like a someone part of your soul tribe soul family yeah it feels as if for you guys right now virgo um this relationship even though it has so much importance to you i clearly see that the lesson there's like some important lesson that comes with man like learning how like it, it's required for you to go through it with someone that's close to you for you to really take in the lesson so it's like as long as you're able to not take things personally right now virgo and see the greater purpose in it all right whether it's for your own lesson or maybe even like the person that we're dealing with here right because they're human as well let's also humanize the people that we're dealing with um maybe there's something going on with them some type of struggle here all right so i just see a lot of perspective shifts for you virgo a lot of perspective shifts okay <clears throat> which would really truly explain why we had that or maybe you didn't have the oh yeah you do have the hangs man i was like looking for the hangs man virgo and then it's just like oh it's right here okay <laughs> okay virgo so let's get in regard get some insight in regards to um your heads up all right things to be looking out for okay let's see what's going on here 
we have here the page of swords coming in here six of wands as well as the wheel of fortune yeah so don't let your you know virgo i feel like it's the most unnecessary you are the most unnecessary sign that i need to say this towards virgo but um, i'm just gonna say it because tara is making it apparent right page of swords that's that you know a little immature communication not as refined darling not as refined here all right remember just through your interactions this week virgo that you're going to always end up on top here all right and remember that um virgo for some of these people here especially those that you hold closest to you that's where your feelings might be hurt or the most where you'll feel the most emotional is in regards to those types of relationships that are very close to you remember six of wands my favorite card in the tarot deck outside of the uh, major arcana is a card of success and you know you always end up on top virgo okay the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor here so as long as you don't forget that virgo you're always going to win your relationships are just going through a period of just trials and tribulations here naturally with the strength energy here all right but if you um because it is the both sides but i'm only talking to you virgo right now um as long as both parties are able to remind each other that you're on the same team and um don't let your emotions get the best of you y'all are just gonna these situations are just gonna bring y'all closer together okay so i love you so much virgo that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you remember to check out your swimming rising and venus sign as well as my weekly pick a card tarot reading if you want to book a private reading with me though virgo my website's linked to down below simply velka dot com next my social medias tiktok and instagram being simply velka same as here but yeah i love you so much virgo and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future darling bye